Howdy folks, it's the Tall Turtle here, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Our plane's leaving. Sorry, let's listen to these birds, and then I'll tell you what we're doing today. Whoops, we're doing something pretty special. Let me just crank up the sim ambient sounds. Just listen to this. Isn't that amazing? I know people say it's a flight simulator, not an eye candy simulator, not a world simulator, not a bird simulator, but you know what? It's the immersion of it all, right? Anyway, what are we doing? Welcome back. World Mother's turned on. We are, speaking of that, why isn't it snowy? I guess it wouldn't be snowy right now here. Hmm. Anyway, we are Chuko, Chuko Lake. I, I rehearsed this. I rehearsed this introduction. I should never rehearse because when I do, I screw it up. We are at Choco Lake, and we're going to head down to Silas Provincial Park. Silas is spelled Tango Sierra apostrophe in the Golima question mark, which is like a thong thong thing. Oscar Sierra. Silas Provincial Park, which is that way. We're actually not on Choco Lake right now. We're on Sanaya Lake. Sunia, Sunia Lake, <laughs> in Canada. We are in Canada today. Oh my gosh, that is an awkward introduction, but I'm keeping it because it's really dumb. So I'm keeping that introduction. We are, what the heck? Okay, I was so distracted by the ambient sounds and trying to justify listening to ambient sounds that I totally screwed that up. We are at Choco Lake, Silas Provincial Park. That's the lake right there. It goes all the way down and around. You can't see it, but we're going to fly most of it. Right now, though, we are starting at Sunia Lake Lodge Airport, Charlie Alpha Foxtrot 4, in Canada. Why? <laughs> Two and a half minutes into this. Why are we doing this? Because Alone Season 8 just came out on Hulu. Amazon. Amazon? Hulu. Can't remember. Amazon. <laughs> Yes, we have Hulu, because my wife likes to watch Handmaid's Tale, which I did and I can't stand it anymore. We have Amazon, because we have Amazon Prime, but we bought Alone Season 8. We've watched all the seasons. We are into reality TV if it's game show type. Regular, like, cliche reality TV, we can't stand. But if it's, like, game show-ish, like the Sing Off or something, then we love it. Um, but... As far as alone, we love alone. I don't know why I, people are crazy. It's because they put themselves in these situations. Um, and season eight just came out. We've only, at the time of this recording, we've only seen the first two episodes because they don't release it all at once. We have to wait like every Tuesday, I think it is, which means we have another episode waiting for us to actually have to think about that. But anyway, so we are going to fly where the people were when they filmed it only a couple months ago. Like, it, the turnaround time is crazy. They film it, boom, they get the episodes out. So, um, if you don't know the show, you don't need to watch the show to see what we're flying. However, if you do know the show, I've recorded the first seven locations for the first seven seasons in Flight Sim. Go back and check them out. I should probably make a playlist, huh? Anyway, Season 8, Choco Lake, Provincial, Silas Provincial Park. I'm going down the airplane. We had to start at the end of the runway because there's no parking in the sim for this, so we just had to find a spot. I mean, let it find the end and let it turn itself off. Wow. Those of you who are watching this video, my videos for the first time, holy cow, this is not how it normally goes. Watch the rest of them. Like, subscribe. See, that's how I get people in, right? I'm like, you kind of like this video? It's not normal. Like, subscribe and watch the rest, and then you'll see normalcy, right? To get people to subscribe. Anyway, we're in the Bonanza G36 today by Beechcraft. We're going to fly out. There's a lodge. The lodge is actually quite a ways away. It's way back there. Man, those birds are loud. We're going to fly out to the lake. Fly south along the lake. I'll point out where some of the contestants are that I know where they are. It's only been two, epi two episodes at the time of this recording, so I don't know where they all are yet, but where they were, I guess. I can tell you where some of them are out of the ten that started. Um, no spoilers, because I don't know. <laughs> don't worry about spoilers. There aren't going to be any. And we're going to come back to this airport land, I think. Let's put the drone away. Let's hop inside. Um, hello. Now, this is half started up because the airplane was not cold and dark. So, we're going to go through the checklist anyway. Confirm my stuff is working. Yes, it is. Bring those flaps back in. Parking brake should be set. 
It is now. Fuel and passengers. Um, I guess we're going to have a few people with us today. I can turn my volumes down now. Um, let's put myself in there. I think we're below 200 pounds now. I'm over 6'4", though, so I'm tall skinny dude. My co-pilot. And, um, let's bring the kids, because they want to see... They want to see what's going on. Ooh, see that backdrop? Holy moly. When I put in my 10-year-old. Alrighty, um... And let's put in my niece. There we go. Okie dokie, payload is almost maxed out. Fuel is good. Whoa! We don't even bring any waters. Not even bringing waters. This is a heavy airplane today, guys. Alright, fuel selector, that's probably already done because the plane is already running. There it is. Fuel selector is set to left main. Battery and alt on are probably already is again, like I said. Yeah. Strobe light on. It is mixture rich. It is prop forward. It is. Yes. Auxiliary pump. On and then off. We really don't need to do this because it was running. Alrighty. Throttle one quarter and start. And hope we really have the parking brake set. Looks like we do. Good. Alrighty. Throttles down to 1,000 RPMs. Amiotic master on already is. Right? Yep. Fuel, fuel abuse confirm off. It is. Um, prop the ice. We may need it. Pedo heat. Set on my flight displays as desired. I like to turn this thing off and I like to turn on our winds when it's available. What's the caution for? Um, there it is. Wind, how can I forget? Because it's been a long time. Um, let's set runway heading right now. So we can fly opposite it to come in and land. Let's go back. What are the winds? Rural weather's turned on. Oh, good. So we're heading into the wind. Five knots. Set the barometer because we don't really know what it is. And there we go. All right. Um, we're not going to worry about timer today. Yeah, we'll do timer today. All righty. Weather. Is, is there an ADIS? Let's check. No. I don't see one. Okay. Uh, what else? Sorry, Tori, flight plan. We're going to fly out and back. I gave the long introduction. Radio's nothing to do there. Nav source. Yeah, we're not going to use autopilot. We might be with autopilot with heading bug. So we know 233 is a runway if we want to land into the wind. We might use autopilot with heading bug. Just so we can do some sightseeing with the drone. All right, beacon light on. Should already be on. Yeah, tax lights on. No, because we're at the end of the um, runway already. Flaps down one notch. We're really heavy, though. Holy cow. And we're going to announce our departure to the south. Chuck out where these contestants spent. Whoa, that's a lot. Spent some of their time. All right. Here we go. Start the timer. Whoops. Start the timer, which is this button here. Go over to start. And there we go. Boom. Okie dokie. Everybody ready? Are you ready? That's wrong. Wrong preset. Are you all ready? Yes, we are. Okay, they're playing poker. Kids playing poker in the back. Hopefully, it's not that kind of poker. Alrighty, here we go. Um, anyway, you can get an idea here. As I'm, you know, as I'm zooming out, or as I'm taking off, I'm zooming out my map. You can see how big this lake is. Ooh, I guess we could land at the airport to the north. If we feel like it. I don't know. Are we going to get off the ground? This is a heavy airplane today. We're at 95% capacity. For weight. Come on. Let's go. Up you go. Barely. Gear coming in. Stepped on the brakes already. And flaps coming in. What a nice day to be flying. Alright, landing lights we're going to keep on. Pedo heat we're going to keep on. Then we're going to monitor stuff. And there you go, folks. That's it. We can go home now. Just kidding. That is how you get this thing going. And let's just look around. Oh, look at that. Take some screenshots for a possible thumbnail. Look how heavy we are. Oh, that wind. Alright, let's hop inside. And there is the lake. Goes all the way down. Boom. So the contestants started here and then south. So whenever they do this show, they always have to basically put the contestants... I call them contestants, I guess. Because um, they are competing for money, right? They have to put them where it's legal to camp. 
and hunt and do things. So they're usually in like state parks and things. I'm sure in some episodes they've had special permission. But that's one thing people are complaining about with the realism is they're like, they're not really alone. They're in a state park. There are the people nearby. Yeah, well, they camp in state basically they're camping in state parks with nothing they start with 10 things on off season so there's no one around yeah there's roads nearby because they have to be able to be rescued when that happens this is usually area so they have to have boat access to get people out of there you know what i mean so they are truly alone even though there might be a village within five miles they just don't go to the village i mean you could do this in your backyard if you wanted to if you had a big backyard and didn't let yourself in and started with nothing and you had enough resources, yeah, so that doesn't matter. Um, the other realism thing that people complain about is the camera footage. They have, this season, they have two trail cameras, a big camera, and two GoPros. And they'll wear the GoPros, they'll do what they can, and then people will be like, but they have this footage of blah, blah, blah. Well, that's called B-roll, and there's a team out there taking B-roll footage of random things that are not the contestants, and they interject them. That's how that works. <laughs> And yes, the people practice with the cameras. They have boot camp before they go out. All right, so as I do this, I'm adjusting my trim. I'm bringing back props. I'm bringing back throttles a little bit. We are hand flying. We're not using autopilot yet. Okay, so somebody was here, I think. I think somebody was there. Somebody was there. They're usually several miles apart. Somebody was here. The woman was here. I think somebody else was there. But they don't know where the other person is and they can't get to the other person because there's train in here that is terrible enough that they won't go to the other person. They might not be quite that close. They might be farther apart. Somebody was here and somebody was like right here. Right? So that's how the show works. I've talked about it in more detail than other videos. But anyway, we're just going to enjoy the lake now. Let's hop in and check out the GPS though. So that's where we took off from. And it's just a really big lake. And the Provincial Park, one map said it was here. Another map said it's this whole area. So I don't exactly know the boundaries are of the park. I just know that. Okay, so here we go. More contestants were down here and here, for example. So they're pretty far apart. They're not going to run into each other. They're not going to walk to a village. But they need to be able to be rescued, right? You know, we're going to fly down the lake and enjoy it. And then we'll turn around and maybe we'll go all the way back up to that airport. That'd be kind of nice, right? Oh, I also wanted to notice this glacial opening in my notes. I have, look at the glacial openings. So glaciers came through there at one time and carved that out. And made the lake, it is a freshwater lake, but it's extremely cold. But you can't just drink the water. Why is that? Well, because animals poop in it, right? Do bears poop in the woods? Yes, they do. And it gets into the water and the bacteria, and you would get sick. So you cannot just drink water, even though it's fresh. You have to boil it, do some other things to it or just collect rainwater, all those types of things. Anyway, I'm going to close my mouth now, and yeah, I'm going to interject the music. I'm going to put some of the OG stuff from X-Plane 10, music I've written, Every mu all the music you hear stuff I've written, either since high school or before or after in college, in my 40s, the stuff I've written. So I'm going to do some OG stuff. And um, I'll see you in a little bit, and we'll turn around and land at that other airport.
How's everybody doing back there? Everybody sick yet? Hopefully you're all okay. I'm going to keep the music running because we're going to get right back to this ice scene. I just wanted to show you how the water is turning to ice here. That is pretty dang cool, if you ask me. That's part of the live weather stuff, which means it's reported that there's ice, I guess, somewhere. There's a little bit of lake left in front of us. You can kind of see it. And there's a little curl there, which is your curl here. So we're going to turn around together right here because this is where we have the most space. And then we will head north and we'll land at that other airport. So here we go. Let's um let's keep our altitude where are we at. We climbed to 5,800 feet during sightseeing. The lake, I believe, is 3,700 something, give or take a couple hundred. It's 3,000 something above sea level. And it does get very cold here, I guess. Which sure we're going kind of aggressive on our turn here. I just want to make sure we're going to make it. I think we are going to be a little more aggressive in our turn. Sorry guys, hang on back there. I don't want to crash into this big mountain. But we're going to make it. I think we're going to make it. I hope we're going to make it. Oofta. That's a tight turn. Alright. Okay, we made it. We can relax now. Oh, gorgeous. There we go. How you all doing i need to change my presets there you go that looks better the snow on the trees and so on and so on and everybody is okay back there right all right the airplane is going to find where it was trimmed before because that wasn't a very great um turn around all right we're going to fly north now continue with the sightseeing i'm going to use the heading bug and autopilot just because we can so let's come down here and let's set up autopilot flight director heading autopilot and just hit alt right now we'll just keep whatever altitude we're at we're going to follow the heading bug and i'll just adjust the heading bug so you don't crash into anything and we'll keep at this altitude 5820 or something we said the parameter and um whatever airport that was when it pops in when we zoom in a little bit we'll tune it in and that's how we will talk to them and i will see you a little bit back to sightseeing and back to that lovely music Alright, so now we're back where we started. There is our strip that we took off from. And there's a lake, but we aren't going to land there. We are going to land up here at Charlie Alpha Golf 3. So let's turn off autopilot. And um, let's fly that way. Let's tune it in. Here's airport list. Golf 3, Chico Lake, Silas Park Lodge Airport. Alright, number 2. Tune in traffic. Select a runway. Um, the wind says we have a tailwind, which means we're going to want 36. But it might be different closer to the ground. But let's choose 36. That'll be... I mean, 18. Sorry. 18. Facing south. Whoops. And I did 36 anyway. 
Let's go back. Oh boy, let's try that again. Tune in traffic runway. We want 18. Number two. Announce full stop landing and announce position. That was complicated. Charlie Alpha Golf Tree, traffic turtle fog, Tango Sierra 4105, 6 miles southwest, 5,800 feet inbound to land runway 18. Alright, we don't know the area, so hopefully we'll be able to spot it. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. It should be pretty easy. Looks like it'll be pavement, because that was grass or turf. There we go. So we're going to fly it over it and come back. Assuming the um, wind doesn't change. So we want to switch this to 180. So, well, I guess it's due south, isn't it? That's not going to be hard to find. There we go. What does that look like? 181. I missed it by one because I could not see. There we go. All right. So there's our runway. Oh. So there's our runway um, direction. Is that? That's not it right there, is it? Is this a one-way in type thing? We have to know. Well, let's get a little bit lower. Let's get comfy in our chairs. I'm trying to get comfy in my chair here. And um, fly over it. Yeah, that's it right there. Okay, are we going to be able to land from the other direction? Um, um, sure, why not? I guess. Are there, there's not reverses in this airplane, is there? No, it's not a drill problem. Okay. Um, I guess we're going to come off that hill and try to land. If we have to go around and land on runway 36, we will. But we'll try to land on runway 18. Let's not hit the train in front of us. Oh my goodness. Uh, we're on a downwind leg, if this goes the way Charlie you're planning it to. Turtles, so Tango, Sierra, but we need to climb. I don't eight. know if 18 is the best choice. Because look at that steep terrain. I think we'll come in off this road. Hmm. How's that looking? Oh boy. Okie dokie. I mean, I'm just looking at the weather down there, right? Four knots, I guess, if we have a tailwind of four knots. is not a big deal. Alright, how are we going to do this? We are really high, but we have to be... Okay, we're going to come along the water. We're totally making up this approach. I don't know if this is how you do this, but this is how we're going to do it. Let's announce final now, even though we haven't done a base or even turned around yet. Just because... Charlie Alpha Golf Tree, traffic turtle, so Tango Sierra 4105 is on final runway 18 to land. Okay, kiddos. Hold on tight. This is going to be crazy. Your dad is driving the airplane. Be ready for anything. Let's stay just above flap speed. Oh my goodness. Turn around. Until we see that water. Okay, there's the water. We're going to come in along the water. And then find that road. And then try to land on runway. 18. Because of the wind. Gear down even though we're going to make a bunch of S-curves. First set of flaps even though we're going to do a bunch of S-curves. We're into like crazy maneuver territory here, but whatever. Alrighty, people who live in that house are wondering what the heck is going on. We never see airplanes come from this direction. Now we're really hot, though. That's the problem. Oh, I just stepped on my racing pedals on accident. They're next to my radar pedals. Oh boy. Okay. Um, yeah, no. Oh goodness, is this going to work? Oh boy, I'm slipping it in. That's why we're dropping so fast. Oh, oh, I did not mean to slip. No. Okay, the reason for that is I was used to really wide runways and I thought we had like 15 feet left. But no, we slammed that thing into the ground. I hope everybody's okay. I hope nobody has to change their undies. That was terrible. Holy cow, that was bad. But anyway, <laughs> here we are. Oh my goodness. Flapture and of course everything is ready to park. Oh, I thought we had a bunch more altitude. Oh well, whatever. Whatever. Alrighty. Um, let's see. Let's just not let's not pull by the fuel because then the fuel thing will pop up. Let's just pull off over here. Right by this house hanger thing. Come on. What was that over there? I'll show you in a second. Once we stop, we're just gonna stop. Well, unless we can go a little bit more, I guess. I mean that's not really an apron for airplanes. There we go. Is that the parking brake? What was that? Over here. Those lines. Look at that wind blowing. See that? There's a lot of wind. Okay, let's see. What do we need to do? Oh my goodness. First of all, we are going to stop the clock. 
22 minute flight time and um, put that away whoops don't care about any of that put all that away low voltage still huh um, landing lights off, nav lights, all the stuff off. We already parked, so just keep the strobe on because we're running. Um, parking brakes set, yes. Pedal heat and de-ice off, yes. All lights off now. Avionics off. Cut off the mixture and the props. There we go. And we'll turn that off as well. And turn off everything here. And fuel selector to off. And, well, no, nope, this way. There we go. And that is it. All right. The roughest landing we have had in, like, months. But that's okay. It's fine. You can't win them all, right? All right, you look at this gorgeous lake, though. It looks calm and inviting, right? Maybe do some kayaking and stuff. But then you go out there, and it just goes on and on and on and on. And it's very cold, and there's lots of grizzly bears. Alrighty, that's going to do it for us. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have a flight idea yourself, leave in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, share with all your friends, and join us for the next time. Join us for Forza, join us for Minecraft, and I will see you next time.